I've just had the worst Christmas of my life. I'd like to forget the whole week entirely. Growing up, I didn't have a close relationship with my father. His job kept him away, and things only got worse at age 10 when he divorced my mom. It was rocky between us until I turned 16 and got my license. That's when I started seeing him more often, and we became closer. By the time I was 18, we were going on hunting and fishing trips, and that's when I learned Mom hadn't been completely honest about Dad. Several years before the divorce, they bought an old farmhouse for a very good price, and my dad remodeled it over the years. It was nice, but there was always a feeling that something wasn't quite right. As a child, I would get the creeps. I refused to go into the cellar. It scared the hell out of me. Years later, I learned why they got the house at such a good price. The previous owners were an elderly couple that had lost their only son. He had been sent to Vietnam, and after returning home, things became too much for the poor guy. He shot himself in the cellar. Two years ago, Dad and I had a falling out. We weren't speaking for a while. We were both being stupid, but... I eventually began working up the courage to stop by and knock on his door. The problem was that he developed some mental issues with his old age, so he didn't always remember who people were. Plus, he had a history of coming to the door with a gun. On December 22nd, 2022, I decided to finally man up and put an end to the madness. For this next part, you'll need to know that he remarried and he had a daughter back in 1989. I never had a relationship with them, but I always thought my stepmom was a good person. As I drove to his house, something felt heavy and oppressively dark, but I thought it was just my nerves. Then the house came into view, and I got a really bad feeling. There were no cars in the driveway. Everything looked abandoned. When I knocked on the door... There was no response, but I felt like someone was watching. I walked around the patio doors, where I was able to look inside, and my stomach fell out of me. It was empty, the interior entirely gutted. I got inside and took a video to document the conditions, and that's when I realized my father was dead. I could hear a voice saying I was too late. Of course, I was totally devastated and half out of my mind. I went through the entire house until I finally found myself at the cellar steps. Under any other circumstances, I would have never gone down there. Especially not when I was alone and nobody knew where I was. But it felt like something was pulling me into the darkness. The electricity had been shut off and my phone was the only source of light. I started down the steps, and I wasn't even afraid until I reached the bottom and turned left. Something hit me so hard that I had to gasp for air just to get it into my lungs. My fear instantly shot from zero to ten, and on the phone, I saw several bright orbs coming at me. They stopped directly in front of me for several seconds before shooting off into the darkness. After that, more solid orbs and anomalies began swarming me. There was no open doors or windows or fans, but it was colder inside than outside, which was 30 degrees. I heard whispers that made me think someone had walked into the house, and I confronted whatever was in the cellar. It responded with a very loud banging, at which point I decided to go back upstairs. The banging continued, so I yelled that I wasn't afraid anymore and that I would be back. I went outside and the new owner pulled up. He'd taken possession of the house from my stepmom on December 8th, and this stranger was kind enough to inform me that my father died of cancer several months prior. My stepmom didn't tell anyone, not even his own sisters. She sold everything he owned before selling the house, and now she's just gone. 
along with her daughter. The realtor said she refused to put a for sale sign on the property. I think whatever is in that house harassed my father and influenced many of the events that took place. Since being in there, things have started happening at my house, so I'm trying to document everything. Three years ago, two different psychics said that I have an attachment from my childhood home. They felt it had influenced or tried to influence someone to take their own life. And they were absolutely correct. Yesterday on the way home, I checked the countryside roads on Google Maps looking for any cemeteries I wasn't aware of. It's something I do often. I enjoy walking around and recording, just to see if I catch anything. I found one on a narrow side road, but when I got there, I saw that it was on private property. It was also a ten minute walk through a field just to get to it. Not wanting to upset the owner, I went to the house next door, down a long gravel lane. As I got closer, it became obvious the house was not being lived in. It was a huge two-story farmhouse that was probably quite beautiful once upon a time. I knocked on the door anyway. I've seen people live in worse conditions, so I at least wanted to make the effort. This place was unkept, and it looked pretty creepy. All the windows had tattered curtains, and a few were broken. I opened the screen door, and when I knocked, it swung open. It looked like the previous owners had moved out quickly, several years ago. The house was still full of furniture, Clothes were laying on the floor. The kitchen table was still there. I stepped inside, phone recording, and I called out several times, already knowing the place was empty. Within 45 seconds, I was hit full on with a blast of very cold air. Felt like being outside on a winter night with only a pair of shorts on. It was 60 degrees outside and warm inside but this cold air was slowly moving up my lower legs. As this happened, I felt a horrible stinging sensation in my left leg, just above the ankle, like several fire ants were biting me. Out loud, I asked if something was doing that, to please stop. I had to repeat it several times and explain that I wasn't there to do anything to the house before the burning finally ceased but the cold air remained. I never went further into the house. I asked the usual questions while panning the camera around, and just as I went to leave, I saw a misty apparition cross the room from right to left. I'd got it on video, too. I was alone and wasn't smoking. There was no fog inside, and the house is 900 feet from the road, so it wasn't a reflection. The apparition immediately gave me a dark, ominous feeling. It definitely wasn't friendly or welcoming. I've visited many cemeteries and other haunted places over the years, but I've never witnessed anything like this. I'm somewhat of a skeptic. I always try to debunk everything. But this one has me speechless. I'll definitely be locating the owner and attempting to get permission for an investigation.